Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity 2. Before we get started, I just wanted to clarify that uh, the upload problem is fixed. I don't know what happened exactly, but when I uploaded the five videos last night before going to bed, when I woke up in the morning, uh, two of the five had messed up. So episode 9 relabeled itself as episode 12, no idea why, and episode 12 just disappeared altogether. I don't really know where it went, so... It has been re-uploaded though, everything is correct in the playlist order, and it's almost even correct in the uplist, or upload order, uh, so it should be okay now. I think we're all good. And it's time to leave this place, I think, although we're going to try and explore one or two other areas. I think the pirates might have something to say about that though. What's the best way to do this? Let's go to the dungeons. And we need to get upstairs. As safely -ish as possible. So if we go out, that's the powder stores. That's the courtyard. That's where we kind of want to go. Hopefully, there's no scouts watching us. We will just quick save as we walk. Some weird texturing right there. It's very blocky. Did our graphics get turned down to low without me noticing? No? Okay. Is the miscellaneous graphics thing off? Nope. Alright. I don't know. Just a weird... pixely looking shadow. So yeah, it was an interesting morning. I had like a bunch of comments like, Hey, your uploads, they're all fucked up. But they're all fixed now, so it should be fine. If I try and walk into court, I wonder what happens. Let's find out. Uh, it looks like we can just go in. Maybe we can go sneak around a little bit. Pirate, 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 pirate. No name to people yet. Merc. Merc is a person. Let's go talk to Merc. Welcome one and welcome all. Buy me a bottle and I'll be your finest loving pal. <laughs> she hiccups into her fist, then pounds on her chest to loose an impressive belch. Maybe we can loot some things. Including a deadlight horn. I'll see it done. I don't know what a deadlight horn does. The harpsichord is finely crafted, detailed, and lavish, but the keys are well worn. Let's inspect the instrument. The row of wooden keys links to an exposed set of strings. Tapping the keys triggers a small quill to strum each associated string. The harpsichord emits a sad, twangy sound when you depress one of the keys. Let's rig a bomb to it. After glancing around to make sure no one is watching, you place a bomb inside of the harpsichord and rig one of its strings as a detonator. Let's leave. We can open that, but we'll get in trouble. So someone's going to play a song, and it's going to blow up. Oh, we make sure that happens. I'm going to go up here. I don't think there's too many people on... Oh, there's a person on this edge of the room. I don't think we're going to be able to... A blade in the dark. They can flat out see us. Okay. Well, as you wish. Is our goal to blow up... This thing? Crew rosters, wanted posters, and assorted maps clutter this... Uh, notice board. You must gather your party before. I'm gathering my party. I just want to know why we rigged that bomb to that. I'm not really sure what our reasoning is behind this yet. Maybe it's when we blow the thing, everyone runs inside, and then they all die. Who's scared when? Think this will break me? Ha! It won't. Spit on me, and I'll make you regret it. One day. Surely. Why are you being punished? Those hagfish. Ben West's crew lashed me up to be, and I quote, a deterrent to insubordination. It's shark shit. All I did was filch one of their horns and blast it to start lung with. I wanted to see it get all worked up. Ben West uses, or Ben West's crew uses horn blasts for an alarm? Well, sure. But shouldn't you know this, on account of you being a captain? She tilts her head back, gazing suspiciously at you from beneath her lashes. My fist will be capped in your face if you question me again. 
With a scowl, she twists the ropes, and then she gives up sagging. Cut you loose. Not that I ain't grateful, but if Ben's crew spots me about, they'll be taking more than my pride next. Benworth won't be troubling you again anytime soon. Blind me. Someone got the best of brutal Benny. Come drink with me at the court. Oh, don't sometime. go to the court. You'd best believe I'll be celebrating this blessing from the gods. There's a significant chance you'll blow up in there. Well, we did our best to try and be somewhat helpful. What's Amphora? No Nut Ned. That's an unfortunate name. You got a spot of blood on you. Actually, never mind. How can I do you, Captain? Well, right away. Sale person. All right, what do you got for stuff? What are the bloody links? Some exceptional medium. They're expensive. Damn. Exceptional medium armor. What's blood price do? Plus five to all defenses. Imbued with blood, the male constricts and ripples seemingly under its own power. Grants a bonus to all defenses when the wearer becomes bloodied. I mean, that's kind of fancy. But we can't afford them because they are ridiculously expensive, so that's probably not going to be a thing for a bit. We do have some fine male armor, but I'm all about the unique type armors. I wonder what happens if we just go to the port. Snake Eyes Conduit, let's talk to him. How might I help you out of a bit of money, squab? Care to join our fun? Or is it swilling information you're chasing? The pirate looks you over, eyeing the make of you. A sly smile curls at his mouth as he tosses a pair of dice to rattle over the cobblestone ground. I'll play around. Now, before we get rolling, let me tell you the rules. You bet on high if you think when the dice settle, they'll count up to more than seven. You bet on low if you think the count will be less than seven. Both mm. pay double or nothing. Okay. Lastly, you can also bet on seven. If the count is exactly seven, then you win four times the wager. Okay. A hundred pyres per roll of the dice. You sure you want to risk it? Let's go high. We lost a hundred bucks. Oh, they add up seven. You lose, mate. What a shame. <laughs> he chuckles and goes for the dice. Care for another roll? No. No, I don't. I'm betting high again. Yes, like nailed it. Care for another roll? All right, we made our money back. We're leaving. We're not looking for Captain Benwith anymore. He's he dead. Let's go to the port. Maybe we can find something cool there. At least we made back our losses. Also, we don't. Oh yeah, we do have a boat. We have a skiff somewhere. Oh, it just gets us to leave. Well, that's not exciting. I wanted to see what happens when he please blows up. We put a bomb in the thing. Oh, now that people know he's dead, who's going to fill a seat and stuff like that? It was their first hanging. Had the rope too long, so we cut the tosser's head right off. Huh. Ain't even possible, that. It is. I'm telling you, I saw it. I need to quickly check in on that lady. Maybe she'll have a drink with me. Maybe she'll join my crew. We definitely need more crew. Our crew stores are a little bit low. And we need people to soak up hits on our boat. Well, this thing hasn't blown up yet, so obviously nobody's played it. We talked to Merc before. Siri the Siren. The Orlin's large eyes grow larger as you approach, then with a narrow, then narrow to a sharp edge. Her hands briefly ball into fists before finding the way to her hips. With a sharp twist of her head, she flips seaweed green hair over one shoulder. Look who finally washed oh. back up ashore. The edge to her words matches the sharpness of her teeth. Seraphin winces. Ahoy there, Siri. Uh, miss me? Right. Did I miss you? She growls. <sighs> a low and prolonged sound. Like a Fish misses water, you gutless bastard. For the first few weeks, anyhow. Till it turned to confusion and worry. You said you'd write every night, didn't you? Then where were the birds or the boats with your poems and pages? Oh. You saying our pirate's a poet? Joti turns wide eyes to Seraphin, amusement making the corners of her mouth twitch. It is pleased, Seraphin strokes his braided beard with a quiet smirk. Siri, sweet honey art. I scribbled you missives day and night. Declarations of passion, sonnets in songs. 
or on account of me being at sea, I never had the opportunity to post them. Jyoti nibbles on her lips to hide a spreading smile. Oh, I'm certain. I'm certain I should believe every word of that blarney. About as certain as I am that you're a snake-tunned philandra worth little more than a tug in the rug. <laughs> Ew. I plundered you up a pair of fine, very fine, snakeskin boots with that tooling you like round the cuffs and all. But the gentleman sprung a leak and they ended up thoroughly sodden. She scoffs and he looks at you with a shrug. Shoti flicks her sickle back and forth, agitated. <laughs> Tell her, Cap. We'll lie. They were... No, wait, we hate deception. I'm sorry for keeping Seraphin at sea for so long, Siri. As captain, the responsibility rests with me. The green Orlin snorts her breath, briefly catching up her hair. I take it your mother never learned you what a full notion it is to cross an Orlin scorned. Nope. Ah, balls. We be in for it now. Ye can't just go showering a lass with wildflowers and filling her head with verse if you're planning to ship out and never see her again. Seraphin winces and shame splashes you like a bucket of cold piss. Uh, let the visions come. Slick wet fur in the lamplight, callous palms perusing her pelt, tweaking teats, ooh, and biting at the soft edge of the neck, thrusting into hotness. Yet tender, hopeful, not that this time will be the one that lasts, but that she might forget this sodden shithouse for an evening or two. You've been lucky thus far, you know. I'm of half a mind to call ye out, and I'm no worse than many with a blade. Least then, perhaps, you'll give me a lick of satisfaction. Her hands raised towards her belt. Whatever you're thinking of reaching for, think again. With a half step away from you, Siri lets her hands drop to her sides. They curl into small furry fists. I know you're not worth it, you cock swabby. Yet it's tempting all the same. I'll be truly sore and sorry, lass. Sorrier still than that. I won't go spinning no yarns about being married to the sea or coming home to you someday. I ain't that gentleman, nor never will be neither. He straightens and meets her eyes. All I can promise you is that what be broken me there ain't fixing for. I'll be a right sad fuck. And there ain't nothing to account for it but me. Allah thumbs approvingly. That's the truest thing I've ever heard from you. Siri sighs, wraps herself in her arms, and peers at Seraphin for a long, quiet moment. <sighs> That I can understand. I'm not forgiving you a lick now. I won't go seeking for your blood neither. Now, why don't you be telling me what you want so I can be shot of you for good? Seraphin nods. Aye, lass. The captain's got an ask or two about deadline. But first, I need to know. You remember Romaro? Sail with me on a sorcerer. Aye, I remember Romaro. You think I've gone wet in the head or something? Your words have always been as flowery for him as they were for me. Seraphine claps once, grinning. It weren't so long ago he shipped out, come to think on it. Where'd he go? Can't rightly say. Left in a hurry, I think. Or at least he were here one day and gone the next. Have he ever mixed much with the sods here? Where was he staying? Hard to starboard through the back door there, then straight on to the end of the hall. She gestures to the northern exit from the room. Don't think nobody's claimed his quarters since. Might be worth it to eat a poke around. Give my thanks, lass. Truly. And many more besides. He bows deeply, braided beard brushing the floor. I'll keep it in your pantaloons, you randy swab. You had any other questions, Captain? Happy to oblige the person hauling this blue bastard away from Fort Deadlight. Just who is this Romero person Seraphin's looking for? Seraphin rolls his eyes and crosses his arms. You don't know? That's so, I'm thinking it's not my place to tell you. Yeah, I understand your reluctance, but if Seraphim now, nah, I need to know what Seraphim's getting my crew into. Nay, matey. It's Seraphim's tale to tell if he's the notion. My lips aren't so loose as you may have heard. Were there something else you wanted? Nope. Can I just bust through this door? Is anyone gonna care? Where are we? Oh, we've already been here. This leads to the shrine. And we looted the shrine. Okay, so we've done this. We don't need to bust through the door. Although I kind of want the okay. lockpick. Do I want to pick the lock? Yes. It's worth some experience. Don't necessarily need to open the door, but I want to lockpick it. What is all that junk? Rats scurry among the discarded barrels of grog. You know, there probably wouldn't be as many rats if you guys weren't filthy pigs. 
Just saying. Is that a door? No, it's a hallway though. That leads to a pistol and a potion of minor healing. What the you hell? Gather your party I just saw a truck with a train. It looks like a train, like a small red train, but it's clearly a truck. Go right by my window. That is weird. So if I press that little horn thing, if I like use the horn, will I get in trouble? Where is it in my inventory? Unusable at this time. Oh, okay. Minow, who are you? Is it true, did Ben die choking on his own blood? Well, not necessarily. He definitely died choking on like a sword. Who's Come, ready fear? We've plenty to share. Who are you? It's too quiet around oh. here without Ben's parties. I I like it. Well, Ben is dead. I don't think we can still go up here. Probably. Oh, we can. Nobody seems to care where we go anymore. Good, we can actually explore around. And grab some sweet loot. And by that I mean sheer garbage that we're gonna sell. We're finding some, um... Bender fodder. So we've been to port. We haven't been to command, though. How do we get up to command? We go into the forge. Up to top and then over to the command. Okay, let's try that. Because we do have to loot Ben's house. Room? It's got stuff in it, probably. We're going this way. We can actually probably just go into there from here. I wonder if this is. No, this is the court, technically. So this giant room wasn't his room, but it was. The tavern. Now we're in the command. So this is the command, and this is his. Please, room. Where there's a pick, there's a way. Done. Leave it to me. Anybody in here? This must be his room. Hide armor. We're not alone. No, there's a couple of enemies in here. Yeah. Oh, that's more than a couple. That is four enemies. That's six enemies. This went from like a really minor room to a significant threat. Let's just wing it. It'll be fine. Actually, everyone stops. Get into formation. You're coming forward. That's really bad. Okay, so a lot just instantly died. Should have kept him back. That was silly of me, but whatever. One's almost dead. One is dead. All right, next one. That oh, that rogue is not quite dead, but that's okay. We're gonna go fight the celebrant. Okay. We at least have a door here. Let's just pull them back to the door. We'll use Edir to tank in the door. And then we'll fight it out. So there are several enemies in here. Okay. And AI is back on, so that's good. What the hell? Where'd that guy come from? All right, fine. You fight that one. Well, it's flanked now, so okay. We got him with our attack. Let's finish him off. Oh, he ran away like an annoying person. Now he's not flanked anymore. That's that uh, quick step thing or whatever it is. Kind of annoying. You. Okay, that rogue is dead finally. Okay, move into the room. Get that one from behind. You move into the room. Yeah, you're moving to the room. Somebody get into the room so I can get into the fight here. Stab him right in the face. Alright, things are going pretty well for us. 
think we're gonna be just fine. That one's almost dead. There's more coming. Eddie, go tank that, please. Actually, she's fine too. Bring them down. Let's finish it off. Okay, no that one's shaken and confused. Uh, everything's fine. I don't think she's doing anything. She might be broken. Oh, there we go. Now she is. Everyone get on this one, please. What is it? Of course. Well, that was a cool fight. I wasn't expecting that many people to be in this room, to be honest, but... There's still more coming. A lot of loot. Tread cautiously. Hi, Brute. What is lava? I found it! It usually works. This brutes have a lot of life though. Not enough. To not die though. Ooh, we leveled up! That's exactly what we were hoping for. Cool. We gotta level up at least. Is that everybody that's coming? We're good? I'll deal with this. We have like nine people. It's finished. And we got some bounding boots. What do they do? They grant leap. And leap lets you jump into the air and crash down on their foes, dazing them. Neat. Let's level up. Um, okay, so Eddie here, I want him to get more streetwise so we can do better at searching ships, I guess. And maybe some more athletic, or maybe some explosives. He's not very good at them, and he needs to be a little bit better. And we can get another level 3 ability, so we can get rapid recovery, which is really nice, and we already have it, so it doesn't matter. Fort defense, reflex defense, an additional engagement, which we already have. Concentration, will defense. We could also get mule kick. A powerful kick that knocks enemies into the air before falling prone, leaving them disoriented. We can also grab tactical barrage. Or Discipline Strikes. So we can get the Aware Inspiration and also the Acute Inspiration, or we can get Intuitive Inspiration. You know what, I'm gonna go with uh, Tactical Barrage, I think. And that's that. Hedir is done. Main character. I want him to have more mechanic skill and more intimidate. And we get to choose one ability, either Cypher or Paladin. And we can't get level 3 abilities yet, so we're still stuck with our level 2s. We don't have 2 weapon style yet. Okay, so we're getting 2 weapon style. That's basically what we're... or maybe not. I might actually switch up to 2 handed weapon style. And get a big beefy hit with the extra damage. Or, I mean, we kind of wanted to be dual wielding. I don't know, we'll see. We'll play that one by ear. We're not going to be a monk. Don't need more will. Do I want. We don't need shields, that's for sure. We get 200 style with both classes. Does that double extra damage? Because that would be kind of awesome. How much is the extra damage? 15%. If you can get it with both classes, is that 30% extra damage? Because that could be massive in the game. 200 weapons or not 200 weapons. I'm torn. This is a hard choice.
You know what? We're actually just going to end the video here. I'm going to do some research on two-handed weapons versus two weapons, and we'll decide which one we want to go with. For now, though, we'll just go back and do the rest of the characters. We'll do Eltamar in the beginning of the next video. Uh, alchemy, and I want religion on her. We get new spells and other things, but what does she use for weapons? A sickle, so she's fine on that. We can get Prayer for the Spirit, we can get Smirt. Magical Seal that explodes. Heals when things are close to death. We already have that and that. Divine Mark. Works target for Retribution, dealing burn damage and lowering deflection might be good. Despondent Blows. Lowering their accuracy and downgrading their critical hits. Let's get that. So she is done, that was pretty easy. And our Orlin did not level up, because he must have just leveled up recently. Yeah, he's level 6. Okay. So he must be just slightly ahead of our group members. Arcana Metaphysics. And he gets another spell. Or we could get him a passive. Does he have like spell penetration or something like that? Apparently he has one-handed style. Okay, so he shouldn't be dual wielding things. Alright then, I'll switch up his weapons. One-handed weapons. We can get a lightning bolt. We already have exposed vulnerabilities. Noxious burst might be okay. Ringrim's repulsive visage is also nice. Terrified and sickened. Yeah, let's go. Okay. So that's where we're going to leave off. In the next video, we'll finish exploring this place, so I think we have finished mostly. We'll maybe just head over here and check out what the northern ramparts in this room have for us, and then we'll get off of this fortress. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time, and I'll try and make sure that these upload properly. No guarantees, but it was a weird problem. I think it was probably just a once-in-a-blue-moon type thing. See you guys next time.